for the bad, but guess what? He's coming with the good. It's going to be a brand new spirit, a brand new anointing, and it's going to come and hit us. And it's going to come like a bolt out of the light. And it's going to come. I know that. I want to read Psalm 15. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall abide in thy holy hill? He that walketh upright and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. He that back, backbite not with his tongue, nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor. In whose eyes a vile person is condemned, but he that honors them that fear the Lord, he that swear to his own hurt and change not, he that putteth not out his money to you, usury, nor talking reward against the innocent, he that doeth these things shall never be moved. Amen. Amen. Now that's the ones. You check yourself and see if, you, if that's what you're doing. Now the prophecy. Walk into the full light of him. Then all darkness is gone. You'll hear his new song saying, Arise up higher and come alive in my word and the strength by his power and to speak his words that bring life and peace. By our faithfulness, we'll all see people coming back to the church. Every day we become closer and closer to him hearing his voice and proclaiming the good news. We are nearer to the end than you think. Church going home, don't forget to read the word. Hear it, believe it, and receive it, and it is in your heart. His words are health and strength to your body. With all things in him, you'll make it. Don't give up, keep going strong in him at all times. In all things, we are more than conquerors in Him. Your seed is in good ground, it's coming forth in your life and good health, peace and joy. Your harvest is here. Your first root, first root roots are going down deep to bring forth good anointing, afresh into your very being. You can go through the fire, not burn. Go through the flood, not be drowned. In Him, be His forever and ever. When you praise Him and you have His voice, and not hearken, harden your heart. Come to me and I'll give you rest. And take all the burdens away. For with God, nothing shall be can do all things with Christ who strengthens me. I say that all the time. It's time to say thank you, Lord, for what you've done. Because by your stripes, I am healed. No sickness in him. We're all well. You are being in his kingdom here on earth with peace and joy. As you have it, you can give it to others. His fresh anointing is coming forth to bring healing wherever you go. Rise up and be strong in the Spirit. And when you're strong in the Spirit and the Word, you come forth alive all over. Amen.